Today we've got a cool project that's fun to make and a lot of fun to play with. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cool remote control drift car. Alright, first we need to make the base of the car. I'm using these big popsicle sticks or tongue depressors. Just glue about four of them together like this. Next, grab two DC motors and solder one of the leads on each motor together like this. Now we need three sections of about 10 to 15 feet of wire so we can control this remotely. As you can see, I'm using some red and black wire, but I ended up swapping this out for some thinner gauge wire to make the car drive better. So solder one of the wires to the wire connecting the motors. Now glue the motors to the body of the car. Then we need to attach the other two pieces of wire to the remaining ports on the motor. Now grab two bottle caps and wrap them in some tape. Then drill a hole in the center. My motors came with gears attached, so I just popped on the wheels and glued them in place. Next grab a paper clip and cut it in half. Now grab two more bottle caps and poke holes in the center using the tack. Then poke the paper clips through the holes like this and bend it so it won't come loose. Now bend the paper clips a little bit and glue them down to the frame of the car on the other end like this. Also don't put tape around these wheels because these are the ones that are going to slide. I also added some cardboard to the inside to make the wheels not wobble as much. I also added another piece of popsicle stick for extra strength. Last step is to glue the wires to the top of your car. Now we have to make the remote. I actually ended up using a long USB cord because it's thin and inside there are four different wires we can use, but we really only need three. To make the remote, grab another popsicle stick and glue two switches to the top. Now following this schematic, link in the description, wire up the motors to the switches and to two 9 volt batteries. And now we're done, let's go test it out. As you can see, this is a lot of fun to play with. Well, if you like this video, click that subscribe button for more awesome projects. Also check out my Facebook and Instagram for more. So that's all I've got for today guys, so I'll catch you in the next one.